Welcome to it. I'm Julia. If you've never met me before, I make customization videos like this all the time on how you can customize your technology. So if you like stuff like this, make sure you subscribe. You might have seen my iOS 14 iPhone customization video and that might have led you here. So with iOS 14, everybody's finding that they can change the app covers. This whole feature of changing the app covers has actually been around since shortcuts were released, but everybody is just now starting to use it because everyone wants their phone screen to look aesthetic and match. So I've seen a lot of people making their own icons and designing them and sharing them with people but I haven't really seen anybody show you all how to do it yourself so today I want to show you guys how you can actually design them all on your phone quick and easy all for free make sure you like and comment on this video and also subscribe if you want to help other people get the same information as well and help them out and yeah that is about it let's go ahead and get right on into this I like to start off with before um, we show you how to do this if you're too lazy and you really don't want to do this all yourself um, you can go to my website and go to design freebies and then go to app icons and I have a bunch that I have personally made for you um, and so you can go ahead and use those if you want they're for free to download all you do is just press and hold and download the link file but if not you're going to need to download this app called canva right here okay so we will open that right up the size that we are going to pick is the Instagram post just because it is a square and then you'll click the blank one so first what you will do is edit the background so this is where your little theme comes in and no matter what you're going for you want to pick a color or a pattern that goes with your theme so you can easily pick any color that you want by touching the little color palette over here and dragging the sensor around, picking a little color. So if we're doing just plain color, we'll leave it like that. Is once you click off the color, you'll click this little plus button down here to go back to the other settings. You will go to illustrations and search whatever logo you're wanting. So we're going to do Instagram. Um, so then we find one, I guess you can pick whatever one you want. I have a theme of this. So then you get to change the color of the logo. So you could keep it black, you could go white, gray, whatever like theme you're wanting to go for, you can choose. So I'm going to stick with white and then that is pretty much it. So you can click done and then push the little save button up there. All right, so then that is saved to my camera roll. The other option that you can do, you guys can get so creative with this, is if you push the background and go over to camera roll, you can pick a photo to go behind it, to whatever you want, like if you have a theme. So here are the ones that I made already on my website. I just found some pictures on Pinterest of tan colors. So I just looked up tan aesthetic, you could look up pink aesthetic, whatever, and then find just a bunch of plain photos, kind of like that. Um, so then you just make that the background and search up a new logo. Another fun thing that you can do is go and get creative, like look up circle, pick something like that, um, make it a little bigger, maybe make it a different color. And then what you'll do is go up to the three dots and push go to back. So you can make something like that. Um, you can seriously get as creative or not creative as you want with this, so that's what I love about it. The other thing, if you cannot find the logo that you're looking for on the Canva app for free, um, you will have to do something else. Uh, canvas logo PNG, or transparent after it, and then go to images, and then you will have to find that logo. Add to photos and then you will add the image separately onto your little thing and then yeah so that's how that works if you can't find the logo you just have to look it up on the internet so from there I'm just going to show you really quick how to add it onto like a shortcut if you guys don't know how to do that yet so what you will do is go to your phone and look up shortcuts and then you will click the plus button add action and then scripting open app you'll click choose and then you'll pick your app, so we'll say Instagram. <laughs> um, and then you'll click those three dots up at the top, click Add to Home Screen, and then first we'll rename it, so we'll say Instagram. And then you'll click that little small one with the blue outline on the left, click Choose Photo, and then you will pick whatever one you chose, and then Add. 
So there it is, right there on my home screen. Um, obviously, it's going to do the thing where when you click it, it goes to shortcuts first. Um, if that bugs you, then I suggest that you don't do this. If you don't mind it, and you don't mind the extra second, then it looks pretty cute on your home screen, especially once you get them all put together. So that is how you can create your own custom app icons. Don't forget to hit this video with a like, a thumbs up, and then also hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. I'd love to have you here in my little community, and that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you.